there is a hidden history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world. And that's why I am on the trail of the Nephilim. The Genesis 6 narrative states that the Nephilim are on the earth in those days and also afterwards. If that's true, can we find evidence that corroborates this? I'm L.A. Marzulli. Join me as we go on the trail of the Nephilim. I am in an undisclosed location somewhere near Mammoth Mountain. Hmm. LA, are you skiing? Yes, I am. I know it's late in the year, but one last hoorah before uh, summer hits and then we go surfing. But I digress. And uh, we'll get into this. What's happening here is I'm sort of changing the format of the show a little bit because we've had such a flurry uh, in our inbox from people who have had experiences. So I'm reading these. Pretty much everyone wants to remain anonymous. That should tell us something right off the bat. So I'll get into that and so much more. But first, a word from our sponsor. And before we go there, folks, when you guys, you know, buy from Noble Gold or check out Noble Gold or you go to BioTrust and you look at that, they keep sponsoring us. And that keeps us doing what we're doing. And we thank you so much for that. See you on the other side of the break. Hey, folks, listen to this. Studies show our mental health changes based on how many or how few wrinkles we have. Anti-aging companies prey on that, but many of their products don't work because they fail to target the root concerns that contribute to wrinkles. The true way to attack wrinkle concern is by going underneath the surface of the skin in ways that promote youthfulness. This is why I highly recommend taking multi-collagen. This amazing product helps restore your skin's youthfulness by getting to the root of the problem that causes wrinkles. It works because it's a health supplement, not an anti-aging serum. Your skin will look better than it has in years if you start taking multi-collagen. If you've been looking for a great way to improve your skin's health and youthfulness, you'll love the wonderful effects of taking collagen. Get up to 51% off for the next 24 hours only by going to healthwithla.com. That's www.healthwithla.com or by visiting the link down below. Folks, this stuff really works. Um, we just thank these guys for BioTrust for sponsoring us. And when you buy their products, you help keep us doing what we do here. So check it out, folks. Once again, www.healthwithla.com. Okay, so here it is. Uh, the names and events will be completely anonymous. So my family, my mother, father, and sister, and I had a very close encounter with a light that came down out of the sky in Barstow, California, 1977. So this is back a ways. We all got out of the car to look at it. The light came and sat down only 10 feet in front of us. Get this. It was the most beautiful, glorious light I've seen in my life. Stop right there. Rebuke first, ask questions later. End of story. Rebuke first, ask questions later. So they're being drawn in to the phenomenon. They're being mesmerized by it. Let's continue. I will try to describe it. It was a bright white light that had beautiful rainbow colors all around it. The beautiful rainbow colors had beautiful lightning bolts shooting out in slow motion in all directions. Each beautiful rainbow lightning bolt was about eight inches long. The thousands of multicolored lightning bolts were moving away from this light creature in all directions slowly. So now we're not sure whether it's a light or a creature moving around. This is pretty intense stuff, folks. There was a big halo of light above the ball of light, and a big halo light started from the middle and moved down to underneath it. The light hovered about one to feet, two feet off the ground and about 10 feet in front of us. This was very, very close. Certainly close encounters of a second kind. My family and I were all facing northeast looking at this light. Everything seemed to slow down after about 20 seconds. Then it was like I closed my eyes for three to five seconds. The next thing I noticed, we were all facing northwest, okay? All facing northwest, and the light was directly above us. So 
something happened in that period of time. They were facing, it's amazing how this person, who will remain anonymous, remembers the detail. They were facing northeast, or this way. Okay, let's say this is north, that way. So northeast would be this way. But after she closes her eyes, for what seems to be three to five seconds, now they're facing northwest, and the light is directly above them. Uh, all of the glorious lightning bolts and multicolored rainbows were gone. It was just one big, bright light. We were looking up at it. Then it shot straight up in the sky and was gone in a flash. Just like that ball that shot up, that came down over the Dome of the Rock years ago. By the way, uh, we covered the Dome of the Rock sighting in our Watcher series, and we debunked it. That, in my opinion, was done in post-production. It was a three-camera shoot, and the way you do that, I could create that hoax right now. You get four or five people and go, wow, look at that, what is that? Oh my gosh, and you go to three different locations and do exactly the same thing. And then in post-production, you add the light coming down, and then the flash, and the thing is gone. I do not believe that was real, but I digress. So let's go down. It shot up in the sky super fast like that. We all stood there, and my mother said, wow, what was that? What happened? Should we go to the police? My dad said, no. They will think we are crazy. Stop right there. This is what we get. People have an encounter like this, and there's nothing in their grid system. And there's so much ridicule um, and, and shame when people have the, well, I better not tell anybody. Like I've said before, I have people come up to me at conferences. They've never told their husband and wife about the encounter that they had 20 or 30 years ago. And they've been married, you know, like 20 years or something. So something's going on. And by the way, we're getting a flurry of email. Keep them coming. Because I, I like this because it's visceral. It's, it's just not me spouting off. I get to weigh in and talk about the phenomena, what's going on here from a, a Christian perspective which I love. But on the other hand, it's a unique story. I've never heard a story quite like this, which is why I went with it. Okay. We all stood there and my mother said, wow, what was that? Should we go to the police? My dad said, no, they will think we're crazy. My mother looked at her wristwatch and it was broken. <laughs> we got back in our 69 Dodge Charger and finished our 30-minute trip home to Hinkley. We should have arrived home around 9 p.m. It was a school night. I had to take a quick bath and my sister after me. We both had to go straight to bed after that. When we walked in the front door, it was 11.10. Two hours and 10 minutes of time was missing. Northeast, and then it's northwest. With wrist watch is broken. And then, what is it, two hours of missing time? Two hours and 10 minutes of time was missing, Right? My mom said, what? It's 11.10, go straight to bed, kids. That was a strange night that night. My sister and I still, to this day in 2021, have no idea what happened during that event. I had an x-ray on my left hand because of a spider bite. I have a strange piece of foreign metal in my ring finger knuckle. I have no idea how it got there. I shared a story with a YouTube channel back during a lockdown in 2020. And this person goes on for there. Um, let's weigh in. They're looking at the light. They're mesmerized by it. Everything goes to slow motion. Then what appears to be three to five seconds later, they're facing a different direction. So how did they do that? They'd have no recollection. Then, of course, they come home, and they have two hours of missing time. Two hours of missing time. Folks, the UFO abduction phenomenon is real. How do we know that? Because the Freedom of Information Act, which was released, what, Two or, two or three weeks ago now, which in my opinion is the seventh rung on the disclosure ladder, the eighth rung being Tucker Carlson talking about cattle mutilations. I never thought we would see this, but we are. People are coming out of the woodwork. They've never, this woman has shared the story on YouTube, I get that. But for the most part, and get this, they've never talked about it. They've never talked about it, which is very, very typical. They just, well, we won't talk about the two hours of missing time because that's really weird. And we hear this over and over and over again. Does this woman have an implant? She has no idea how this metallic object got in her knuckle? Very possible. Very, very possible. Especially in 1977. I will reach out to this person and find out uh, if they can get an x-ray on this strange metallic object. Maybe we'll try to do an implant extraction from this person and find out maybe what it is. Like we did in our watches series. People are being taken. 
There is a, a breeding program that is going on. These are the days of Noah. And you say, L.A., what does this have to do with the Bible? It has everything to do with the Bible. Jesus warns us, it will be like the days of Noah when he returns. What differentiates those days? The presence of the B'nai Ha'elohim, fallen angels mixing the seed. They will mingle with the seed of men, but their seed will not cleave to them. That's Daniel. It's happening right now. And you remember, Daniel was a sealed book until the latter days. Seal up his book until the time of the end. Men will go uh, running to and fro over the face of the earth. Knowledge will increase. We're here. We are here. And it's happening. If you've got a story like that that you want to share, if you've had an encounter, please shoot me an email, la at lamarzuli.net. It would be very incredibly interesting to do a regression therapy session with this person. I am willing to bet in regression, they would have memories that have been suppressed. We know this, that when people are abducted, they put like a memory screen. They, these so-called aliens, but they're not aliens, remember. The greys, in my opinion, are biological suits which the demons inhabit. That's number one. The fallen angels are running the show. These are the days of Noah. When they actually show up, and you remember, we're on rung number eight of the, of the disclosure ladder, and I have no idea how many rungs we're going to have to climb before we actually see full-blown disclosure. They will tell us that they created all life on this, on this planet. In fact, on Smart News, there is a story today, and because I'm here, I'm sort of limited in what I can do, but there is a story on Smart News today talking about how aliens seeded us here. I'm not making this up. That concept is called panspermia, and it jibes with the whole evolutionary theory, which goes against what we believe. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. He was with God in the beginning, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not made anything that was made. So we either believe that. Is that the truth? In my opinion, that is the truth. Jesus spoke everything into existence. I think that sounds preposterous. That's because He's God. He can do all things. All things are possible with Him. So every day we come here, I, I, I talk about this. I think this is, we're on the trail of a Nephilim because the, the hybrids, and I'm going to read this story for you tomorrow, the hubreds, the hybrids, this human, alien, not alien, but you know what I'm talking about. They're modern day Nephilim in my opinion. They are here. They're already here. And we'll get into that on tomorrow's show. Wow, that's very intense. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, we'll see you on the air or in the air. I've seen a UFO. I've seen a UFO. And I saw a UFO. A UFO. A UFO. A UFO.